something new every day. Slide on. Here we go. So, all right. What are we doing here? Wait, how's this working? What did you learn? I think you had to slide. Yeah. Come this way. Well, we just changed the angle of the thing. Oh, okay. Oh. There we go. Oh, Jesus. Don't knock over my drink. <laughs> all, right, all right. There we go. Well, hi. Oh, there we Hello. go. Well, are oh. you going to take turn, turn I'm going to your... remove myself. That would be nice. That's why. Let me get rid of me because it I like your hair, nice. Tahita. It's the same. It still looks good. I know it does, but you know what? It's on its last leg. I was I was putting it up the other day, and it's like, bloop, a braid. So, <laughs> Oops. Oh, a braid, a braid, a braid came out. <laughs> so this weekend is the last weekend. Well, and this weekend is my last weekend here. Oh, and the last weekend. Okay. Y'all are just chilling. Espresso martini. And uh, we've got a long day today, but I'm going to weather through because you know my old ass likes to go to bed early. So, you know, we're going to see if I can maintain. Until, <laughs> you know, midnight or so. Anyway. So, what, so what's on the plan for today for you guys? Uh, we're going to dinner. And then nice. we're going to the uh, blues, uh, the Alabama Sky. Alabama Sky Blues. And the woman who played my wife in Hollywood Star Girl is starring in it. Oh, okay. It's a oh, it's a movie. It's a play. play. It's a play. What's it called again? Blues for Alabama Sky. Blues. Oh, okay. And Directed by the blitz. incomparable Felicia Rashad. Get out. Mm -hmm. nice. Okay. So it would be nice. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm feeling real Hollywood today. So Shahida, don't judge me when I come home and act all brand new. Like when people, I see people are like, excuse me, get away from me, you peasant. <laughs> I got way too many bougie friends. I got way too many bougie friends. Oh, girl, you know, I couldn't even be bougie even if I tried, please. Blues for Alabama. You are bougie. Oh, okay. Okay. I, and that's Nyjah. That's, that's Nyjah. She plays my wife. Oh, Okay. Mm -hmm. And Felicia Rashad directed it, huh? That's Felicia nice. Rashad, yes. Is she going to be, I, it would be nice if she showed up. Who? Is, is it like the opening night or it's been Last running? night was opening night. Oh, okay. So this is this is the uh, the first Friday, so to speak. Oh, okay. Nice. But, you know, Miss Felicia is the dean. Oh, she'll be, college, oh, she's, so she'll maybe be there. She, we'll see if she's oh, there. She's going to be there. Mm -hmm. Oh, try and she get you some good pictures. But you know that's my girl. No, I'm not gonna fan girl. You know I'm gonna act like I belong. You know you're backlit, by the way. You know that, right? What? You're backlit. Now you're. There's... Oh, you know, let me close my curtains because it is like really bright. That expresses... I'm talking. <laughs> I'm a coffee lover, but. Oof. Is that so, better? So we're here. Oh, I was just talking about move that it. Martini is absolutely heavenly. I love me some coffee, but a martini even better. My first time making it. Really? That that would when well, you know I don't like alcohol that much, but I can do an espresso martini and a French martini. Those are my two favorites. Oh, a good French martini and a dirty martini. I love me an extra dirty martini. Mm. But they I, don't. Love I try. Me. I try. Like I think the very first time I went out, like with my coworkers, after being home for like eleven years with my kids, and I didn't know like what to pick to drink. So I'm figuring, like, oh, they drink martinis in the movies. Let me just. Go try. <laughs> I nearly passed yeah. out that first sip. I'm like, this is friggin' fire water. Who the hell is drinking this at noon? Not at noon, not at noon. Well, not I noon. have one at noon, yes, when I'm at home in the summer and it's like, I've, you know, well, I got nothing else to do. I, 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 like, I like sweet drinks. drinks. You like what? Sweet drinks. Like sweet yeah. drinks. Sweet drinks. Yeah. If I do, but, but you all know, I've, I've given up on the alcohol. I get too many headaches, too many headaches. So I'm yeah. just done. So I'm a chocolate fan coffee. and that's it. I gave up smoking two years ago, so I can only, I can only do one vice at a time. And I ain't giving up at all. I'm sorry, not just yet. All right, so enough enough about us. Um, it's a beautiful day here in Los Angeles. We are out on the courtyard of Casa de Williams, and it's a glorious day. Uh, so I'm, that fuckery that is married at first sight. I'm so oh, over yeah. this fucking show. Me too. I'm over everybody's <laughs> attitude, everybody being stupid, everyone doing the same shit, and no one's evolving or growing at all. We like after a week. The same conversations you said, like 
it's the same thing every single week. And I, again, I get so frustrated because two hours of my time. Exactly. Listen, I watched it on DVR. I started yesterday at like, I think, when, when did I text you guys that I started it? It took me, I didn't finish it until like 5.30 this morning because I was like over it. I got an attitude, I shut my laptop and then the day got away from me and then I went to bed and I was like, oh snap, I gotta finish watching it. I almost did a you Shahida and said, I ain't watching this shit. I'll just let them talk about it and I'll just chime in as needed. All three of us are not gonna watch it and come one time we're gonna come and think. So what happened? You're like, I don't know, did you watch it? I don't know why I didn't watch it either. But the funny thing is, you didn't have to watch it because nothing changed. Everything. The only th thing that changed was the scenery. Yeah. And What's also, do you need to get that? Yeah. Well, don't worry about it. Okay. Um, I'm worried about what I have a problem with is well, who do we want to start with? Well, okay. Let's go with order. I have real. Oh, have, I have a real annoying, problem with knowing. Annoying. A real problem with her now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, you know, as I said, maybe they're making up stuff to give them conflict or whatever. But she's like not considered his feeling. Well, what came out at the end was that she's really scared. Did you see that part where she says she's really scared? So. Huh? So. <laughs> right. I understand. So that, but she, she's, she wants to keep her apartment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's obvious she's looking for something to get out as a safety valve because she was either hurt before or something. But this man, Steve mm. is working. Mm. He's one of the best. He's one of the best examples of a person in this situation of how to handle it, how to be patient, how to say what you want, how to express your feelings, how to negotiate, how to respect the time, all these things. And also logical about the whole thing too. But I don't want, she's like, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk. He's like, yeah, but my feelings are hurt. I don't want to talk about it. Well, we'll agree to disagree. And I'm like, well, so he's like, okay. Then they come to the table and everyone's talking about the relationship. Right. Mm -hmm. And he's like, so respectfully, he didn't blow her up like Olajuwon did. Mm -hmm. Respectfully, he was like, is it okay if I talk about it? He wants to address it. He already addressed it with the boys. The boys were like, yeah, she's tripping. <laughs> she didn't say shit to the girls. Because she knows she knows she's in the wrong. Anyway, so when he rolls out and he said, would you mind discussing it? She's like, no, I don't want to. He's, And I love the fact when he flipped and he said, oh, so you're okay doing it on social media, but you can't talk about it in public Ooh, here? that was a clap. I was moment. like, point, point. Steve. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she's like... Yeah, and she's like, well, I felt like he was ambushing me. She's a child. She acts like a, a, every time a she opens her child. mouth, she looks and acts like a twelve-year-old with the eye rolls, with the pouty face, with the the body language where she's just like, meh, and meh. it's like she's she gets repulsed every time he opens his mouth. It's like a parent talking to their child, and you know, like you you you, you got. Three kids, Shahida. It's like when you're talking to your children when they were kids and they don't want to hear you and they just do the, mm, the eye roll and the look away and then they change their body position. That's her. And again, back to her crying. I didn't feel a look of sad for her ass when she was crying in the car talking about, you know, first of all, dummy, you shouldn't have picked up and moved across the country for some dude in Boston. Right. And then he dumped your ass. And now you're stuck. You should be proud of yourself that you picked yourself up by the bootstraps, got yourself, you know, some, you know, a job and you got yourself an apartment. Be proud of that. And then she's saying she doesn't want to leave her apartment. If you don't, then why did you get married? In the first place. Exactly. Because with marriage, what are you going to get married and live in separate houses? That's not reality. Well, I, just I agree you. with her on one thing, on one thing, if, if I got married on Married at First Sight, I would not give up my my house that the very first year or two. I would keep it. I would rent it out or or something, but I wouldn't 
because I'm still getting to know this person. And I don't know what six months to a year or even two years may hold. And if things were to end, I would like to be able to come back to my space. It's one thing if it's a house, mm -hmm. if she was holding a mortgage. Oh, it's not an, it's, it was an apartment? She's renting Ooh. a studio oh, okay. apartment. A studio. A studio okay. that is the size of- Oh, okay, property. got you. Courtyard, basically. Everything is in one like, 200 square, you know how studios are in Boston. Mm -hmm. She was in a closet. She's paying rent. She's not putting her money towards a mortgage. I get that because I do the same thing. If I decided to get married, whether be married at first sight or just married in general, I'm no, I wouldn't, or in a serious relationship, I'm keeping my house. Get the hell out of here. You can keep your mm -hmm. house, I'll keep mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I would rent really it out. Good. So I, okay, so I'm, I, I just, I agree with you guys on that point. I mean, it's it's not that serious if it's a rented apartment or whatever. The thing about her, and I'm not even gonna go all into it because Chris laid it out perfectly. She's just immature, um, but she's so incredibly selfish. Really she's selfish. So incredibly selfish. She doesn't wanna bend I don't know what her family taught her or, you know, why she think her shit don't stink. She is unbelievably selfish and she doesn't want to give up on anything. She wants her way and that's it. I think she did what Tanya has been saying. Like, why hasn't she Googled him? Because I really feel the only reason that she stays and says yes at the end is she saw how much money he's worth. Yeah. At the end, yeah. there's, there, I don't think that she's in it a hundred percent because she loves and respects him. That might come down the line, but because she's so selfish, I think it's the money that makes her stay. All I know is that he is doing everything he could, everything he's he could to agreed uh, placate her, ease her mind, and she's just like. And I'm, I'm, but I wonder if if he would have given her a little bit of a a pushback, like some of these, you know, where some of these other guys are not doing anything, if she would maybe respond to that more as opposed to someone being mature and you know, in that way. I don't know. I think she might. She probably would have had a meltdown if he would have like really clapped back at her and really went full on adult man with her. She would have probably had a meltdown. Yeah, I kind of think so. I mean, he's, yeah. I think the worst thing about her is the absolute selfishness. And yeah. no matter how much respect he tries to give her, and if he yelled at her in any way, all, you know what she would just take from that? See, I, I, I knew that yep. you were this type of person. You know, so yep. she's, she looks for the negative too, but she's just very selfish. They, I mean, we all yep. know that they're going to both say yes, but he deserves I so much better than her. Doesn't. The best, the best part of this horrible season for me would be because they're torturing us with the two hour episodes that could clearly be 35 minutes, um, is that she says no. I would love for her to go first and she gets on her friggin' high horse and she's like, no. And he's like, well, I would have loved to make it work with you, but okay, I respect that. And then boom, bang, boom, I am a motherfucking millionaire. Here, oh, please believe me. I would be happier than a pig and chip. That would be a nice little thing to happen, but that's not his style. No. He is so he damn smooth. He's so, you know, um, just just a classic gentleman. You know, uh -huh. he's just really a nice oh, guy. Nice guy. A really nice guy, even how yeah. he interacted with the guys. He And he's cooking five nights a week, mm -hmm. he said. He's doing all the cooking. Like, he's not my type. But it's exactly, it's like actions. Like for me, like, I don't care who you look like, you but it's like, like who you are as a human being and like how you carry yourself and present yourself. Steve is like the most sexiest man to me right now. Like I, if I saw him in the street, I'd be like, mm, yeah, no, not my type. But after seeing him here, oh, please. Oh, okay, I, I was gonna say, I, 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 I mean, you would be- ass up Real quick, you don't have to work. I could work in my, I could go in my office and shut the door at 8 a.m., come out at 12, knowing that there's going to be some lunch on the table. My house is going to be cleaned. My laundry is going to be laundered. And I could go back into my office, work five o'clock, come out, dinner's on the table. 
and he's gonna have sex with me please believe me thank you and he's got some money i'm good with that she's just stupid i'm just i'm really disappointed in her i'm just disappointed you know what i mean she's they looking get- so now it explains why she's so harping on the money thing is because she's just looking for anything to to not want to be totally committed yeah but what but i don't understand if you're not willing to do the thing why go on the show i mean unless you're trying to blow up your own that's the other reason if you're trying to blow up your instagram or be whatever you're wherever you are but if you're really trying to go on the show to get married like love is blind when they're really trying to get married then don't go on the show if you're not ready or if you don't want to facts she's yeah. certainly not i don't think she's facts. i think that's the problem with basically everybody on the show is that th- none of them were really ready to get married except for Steve. Steve. right Steve. yeah Maybe Michael. Maybe Michael. I would. Say, I would even say Mark. I would say Mark too. I mean, because he oh, tried. Yeah. This was his second yeah, time trying yeah. to. Mark, Mark just is some... ready, but he needs. He don't need Lindsay. That's he just all. needs someone nice to him. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. You're right. It's the women then. <laughs> uh, the with women. the exception of Elijah Wan, I. It is the women. Elijah. I mean, Elijah Wan and Katina. I mean, mm-hmm. Katina is good, but. Elijah Wan is just on a whole nother level. I can't stand him, so whatever. Let's jump into them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Elijah Wan, man. Elijah Wan is like coming out of, I don't know who the hell raised him or who the hell he hangs around, but he is back in the Stone Ages as far as like his thoughts and his beliefs on marriage and relationships in general. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm a traditionalist, but I... You know, I can work and have my career and make my money and my guy can do the same and, you know, we can be equals, but I'm going to let him be the man. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But he's got it. He's he's on some next level shit. Like when he was talking to her about, you know, um, when he talked to her about the how many more years of school do you have left? How rude was that? Exactly. She said two, two more years. And, and also his language, too. He doesn't say we. Mm-mm. It's mm-hmm. all about what are you doing? What are you doing? What? Are, well, when you you want to have you want to have kids, not like when when we when we have we, we want to have kids in a year. Well, you want to have kids? How are you gonna do? How are you gonna do that? Mm-hmm. Not how are we gonna do it? How are you gonna do that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And and, and it I, shows I, too how he he has a love. He is like when he said something about um that her having her having a family and he didn't want to be the one to have to take care of a woman and a kid on his own and but yet he's so traditional on all this other yeah. stuff but yet exactly. you don't want to be the the breadwinner to take you know to see that your kid is at home with your wife so it's like he wants his cake and you know to eat it too or something he's she's just so ignorant and it's like his cake and eat it too he wants his cake and someone to make the cake and eat it too and he's kind of all he does is constantly try to find ways to put her down why do you need to put her down all the time like that that conversation it they were going fine that was what gets me about him it's like they can be going like really smooth. Katina said they were going really smooth, and then he's just like, you know what? I got to bring this bitch down, and then he throws something yeah. at her like this. It's just, and I know that they stay together, and I'm just so disappointed because she deserves better. Yeah, because yeah. remember when he said to her, "This is what really made me irate." When he was like, you know, um, I gave up a lot of stuff. That's why I think he's full of mad shit when he was like in the beginning, when he was talking about he was Isaac and he's doing this and doing the most and living this type of like social life out in them streets. He's full of shit because he literally said to her, I took I took I put all my shit on hold and I did my career. I bought my house. I paid off all my debt, my student loans. He's like my house. Everything's I I tend not to believe him that his house is paid for, paid off. He made that comment that everything's paid off. So now he gets to enjoy, he gets to do him. And he could take two to three trips a month. And then he said that, then he turned around and looked at her and was like, you did the opposite. Like, 
Negro, be proud of what you did. I commend that. If that is true, I commend you clearing your debt, paying off your house, doing whatever you got to do, having your job. But don't ever cut somebody down because of you doing you. He cut her down. He was like, you did the opposite. You spent your 20s, five, the past five years, partying it up. And now yeah, you're having to deal out. with the ramifications where you're trying to, you know, you know, get it right. And I'm just like, what the fuck? But it's not even ramifications, too. She's just going to school. Right. She's going to school, getting it, getting it. What is she getting a degree in? Mm, I can't I remember. I don't know. I don't know. Economics or some shit. She but doesn't. I think it's she's getting her master's. I think she, this is her master's, not her bachelor's. I think it's master's. She's oh, getting. okay. Yeah. I don't think. Does he have a master's? I don't think. No, I think he just graduated high school and is a master's degree in fuckery. Yeah, That's in ignorance. Master's. Oh, but when he used the word "took in," I can't remember the sentence. Remember, he said he took in something. I'm like, <laughs> what He's school so did you took in? And for someone to talk so much shit. He needs to fucking he's uh, al alpaca the, the llama what I mean he was making up words about the alpaca <laughs> or the lamb llama or something like that. Yeah, the alpaca, alpaca. yeah, that's he what called it was. something on and she said no alpaca. Mm -hmm. So she's clearly not smarter than but, but more I don't know. And and, and again, it's not her style to rub anything in yeah. to him. You know, so you know she she you know quietly does her thing just like Steve quietly does his thing. Why do you feel that you need to be, you know, loud and wrong mm -hmm. with so much Great. stuff? Yeah. He's a dick. I just don't like him. Never have, never will. Sorry, not yeah, sorry. Yeah, I, I still think he's... And also, since they still haven't had sex. What? I mean... What's that all about? That's crazy. And how many remember, more... Remember the game? Days? They got like 13 days left. I remember in the game where he said, who would lie about their... Something he said himself. Yes, that's it. He took. He basically told on himself. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know damn well he didn't have sex with a mother and daughter. We all know that's a crock of bullshit. And he believe, lived yeah, in the streets. I don't believe anything that he says. I really don't. I think he is a is a liar to try and make himself look good. The only way, like you were saying, that you thought he was like in the Brockton area. Now. Yes. Uh, and I kind of, I kind of get that feeling too, because they do a couple of little scenes where they're kind of like walking around the streets, and it does look. But South Shore, Mass, does look pretty much so the same. Those towns. The but, reason why I thought that he lived in Brockton was because one, one, a couple of episodes back, um, and I'm not going to say the name of the establishment because I, I used to go there, and I don't go there anymore because I'll tell you guys offline. But um, I'm not giving them any clout um but they when when katina met her i think it was her cousin and they were talking i think it was her cousin or his cousin something it was in brockton and i know exactly they were at some a bar and grill and i know exactly it was like literally two seconds from my house and I know um what you're talking about yep and um so i'm saying to myself if he lives in boston or if she lives in Boston, why are they coming out? I mean, why are they driving to Brockton and then going to that place? Mm -hmm. I think it's a place that is close by to maybe where her mom lives and mm -hmm. where he lives. And yeah. I know he's full of shit because when we had Miss Maya on a couple of weeks ago, she born and raised in Brockton. She's got her ears in the streets. She knows everybody. Her and her sister know everybody. And they're all in the know and go to like the same spots and stuff. And that's why I asked her, do you know him? Because if he was really truly in them streets, they would know. Mm -hmm. And they, mm -hmm. she said she'd never seen him. She doesn't know who he is. Come on now. But knew his friend. Yeah, she knew his friend. Mm -hmm. But not him. Yeah, yeah. He's, just, he's just, he's just. What did you all think about the psychic? Bullshit. Are we getting into Michael and Michael and yeah. uh, the medium? <laughs> of yes. all the mediums in the state of Massachusetts, well, they were in Vermont, so who knows where they plucked her from? So, so what do you you do? Do you think? I mean, I saw him smoothly grab her hand when she's crying and mm -hmm. interlock the fingers. Now you can't interlock fingers with right. somebody True. unless there's some intimacy. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can hold someone's hand, but you interlock fingers. That's a whole nother level. But she also said that she's the one to be the liar if there's a role to be played she's gonna make you believe her role i don't believe she's into him one bit and i think she has done a turnaround only because she doesn't want to look bad 
Really? I don't believe her. I right. think um I think she's I think she's starting to she's starting to at least yeah. consider it of like, well, this guy is really we're don't I think she's going under the guise of marrying my best friend. Yeah. Going maybe maybe I should consider marrying my best friend because they're getting close. They're getting close and he's been patient and he's been working hard for her. And maybe he, he had has. to prove for her that I'm gonna work as hard as I can for you. Yeah. And do whatever I'm gonna jump through as many hoops as you need me to jump through. And she's like, Well, jump through this hoop. Okay, I'll jump through that hoop. What else can I do? We'll jump through this hoop. The only thing about the psychic that I liked what she said was regarding um if they decide not to say yes. Like she said to Michael that, you know, you'll probably meet someone in five years, but you're never going to find someone like her. And then what she said to Jasmina, which I really liked and kind of made Jasmina think, I think it kind of like, you know, clicked something off in her skull where it was like um, when she said, you will probably, you, I can see you meeting somebody in like a year, mm-hmm. but you're going to regret that you let him go. That's the only thing I liked about it. I'm not I'm not fancy on mediums and stuff. I kind of think it's a I shouldn't say it's a crock, but I'm not um I mean and who knows this medium could have easily watched the show and found out some stuff or get, been given some, you know, information yeah. for production. I mean, I don't know how this works, but I'm just saying, yeah, no. Nah, I I kind of called her BS on a lot of stuff. The majority yeah. of the shit outside of the and also the other thing with them is now they are acting like a team mm-hmm. they really are acting like a team mm-hmm. i mean well at least she's she's not like me and this and him she's like no we're gonna do this we're this and and he she likes the fact that he's down with you know even though she does she says well i'm the real boss or whatever i think she's i think she's warming up to the fact that they're they're a partnership. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Now, romantically, I don't know if they're ever gonna get to the fact that you know knocking boots. I hope it. I, I, I hope they do it, and he blows her mind. Mm-hmm. I, I it, felt like I really liked their scenes together because I felt what everybody else yeah. I think felt that it was very sweet. That yeah. there was like a turnaround. I just don't trust her. I really don't. I don't. I don't, I don't believe her in this turnaround at all. I really feel like it's just saving face. And because she's not willing to, um, I mean, I, I, I get what you're saying about the interlocking of, of fingers that, but I can see that being something that you would do because yes, that is her husband at this moment, but just to see, just, just for her to just do it, just to keep the peace to a point, but he still can't get close to her. Yeah, He's but I don't. But I don't know. I don't know if she would have grasped it, you know. And why was she crying when the in the medium was talking about? No, no, no. When they were in the group, when they were in the group, and Michael was. Oh, expressing- oh, yeah. Um- Michael was expressing himself. Oh, he was talking about her. He was talking about her and how much she yeah. has grown or something. But right, yeah. and she I started crying. Like- and I'm like, and that's when he, that's what I was talking about, that when he, when he put her hand to make her feel better and he put her hand and interlocked it there, I was like, ooh, that was yeah. interesting. That was a tell to me that she was at least being emotional or emotionally available to have a, if she didn't fucking like, look, if she was Marla, mm. Merla, <laughs> Marla, and, and, and how he was, he was just expressing himself and 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 she was just like oh you know that's really that's really sweet but no, she no, 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 no 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 I, I mean i i i think you forget that the, that merla did a 180 because she she turned that whole relationship into one that everybody was rooting for because at the very beginning it was like she was horrible but she turned it into something that everybody was rooting for and every week they seemed to get closer and closer and this is very similar to that and maybe that's why I don't believe her. But I'm 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 going the Tanya route with this one. She was stubborn as hell about Elajuan being a piece of shit, and you and I were caping for him hard. This is how I feel about Jasmina. I don't. She could. She cannot change how she. She's in my mind how she's been 
the the the, the last several weeks. I don't I don't buy this um nice guy intimacy thing at all. I don't. And let's also keep in mind that they were at this beautiful lodge in Vermont, and sometimes people get caught up in the atmosphere. You know, you go away for a weekend and everything's going great. And you kind of look, the, you know, he's paying you some good attention. She's paying good attention. And maybe there's, you know. The only thing that I would say that refutes that is that in this episode, we didn't see one time when she was acting like a complete bitch. Yeah. We didn't see that in the last week's episode either. We haven't seen her act like a complete bitch. Well, well she, I would say the last two or three episodes. But once she's alone and she's talking to other people, she is very, very particular to say, I don't feel for him this way. But she didn't do it this, this episode. She did. She did. Yeah. She did it with the girls. She still said it? Oh, yeah, yeah. she did. She, she did. did. And they in the hot, was it the hot yep, tub? In the hot tub, yep. Yeah. 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 What is she she about, is I, very I, I, specific to say that she's not into him. She's just not attracted to him, mm. like oh, physically. Okay. All right, well. And I don't know why. Here's the thing. I don't get it. Maybe it's the height thing. Because she, 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 she doesn't have, have any shoes on. on. Because yeah. he is not ugly. Like, he isn't, a, I mean, he's attractive to me. Uh, he's got a great body. He's in shape. He's just kind of height deficient. I mean, whatever. But he really isn't all that height deficient. Because he's not. He, I mean, like, if she has um, just flat feet or, you know, sh no shoes on, they're tit for tat. kind of the same, yeah. Yeah. I mean, and who's going to wear heels? Nobody wears heels every day. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess when they're going out, but yeah, I, 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 I don't just, know what her deal is. I don't know. I mean, I, I'm, I'm confident. And I'm confused. It. I'm confused now because I'm on the fence with them. Like, I don't know who's, I'll I don't have know what to the see the next week be. Yeah. to see when it's coming up to it, how she's feeling about it or what, if yeah. anything happens. But I think I, I do. So I would say I, I'm an 80% sure that she's going to say no, as opposed to 99%. I'm, I'm about 80, 75 to 80% she's going to say no. I'm at 100% that she's going to say no. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah, 100% she's going to say no. Wow. See, I'm kind of, after this episode, it's got me. But I'm, mm, all right, I'm just going to base it off of this episode. I'm going to say, I'm going to give them like an 85 like she'll say yes. Mm -hmm. So oh, eighty five, she'll say yes. Yeah, I was saying eighty five percent. She's gonna say no. No, I don't think she's gonna. Well, after this episode, I don't. If I had to choose, I after this episode, I'd say she's gonna say yes. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, I would say. I think I'm they're definitely both gonna, gonna say, say yes gonna say after no. this episode. Oh, he's definitely gonna say yes. Yeah. He's the one I'm confused on. He's the one I'm confused on because yeah, it does look like he's gonna say yes, but I'm hoping he's just a little bit smarter than that. Or that he reads her a little bit better than yep. what? Because cool. at the core of it, he's still saying he hasn't cracked that. He knows he hasn't. And he, he even said it to the guys that there's still that level. And he doesn't know which way he's going because she hasn't really showed him real affection. So I think he's on the fence too. So I'm going to, I'm going to say 80. No, I'm going to give him 75 that he'll say yes. I, I would say that I would agree. Mm. Yeah, I got to agree with you on that one. 75. Well, no. I, no. I would say 80, 80, 85 percent. Yes, just because yeah. he's he he's he's chasing. He's trying to, you know, yeah. you know, there's, there's hits he's taking, you know, but I think I think 85 percent. He wants it. He's really working hard. He's he really a lot. It. He's changed a lot. He really he wants just it. seems like a nice person and. Mm -hmm. And I know that her demeanor has changed and people are really rooting for her. I was really surprised at people on Twitter, how they were like, um, they're going to, they're going to be that it couple. Oh no, I don't think they're going to be that it couple. I don't see it at all. I mean, if they I do, do like I'll part, be surprised. Their partnership, they, I mean, they, they are really getting along. She likes those things about him yeah. and he's right there with her, that he's competitive, that they're going to do stuff together. But I feel like somewhere along the line in the very beginning, she said, this is not for me. And she has not changed her mind on that. Right. Yeah. So I don't know what it was that, because it, it wasn't even the whole apartment thing either. It was before then, you know, she got a little cold. So I don't know what it was that made her have that attitude, but 
I, I just don't see that she's changed it much. I just think that she's being cordial and nice. Because like you said, Tanya, here it is. They're in this beautiful location. It's romantic in its way or whatever. And nothing went on in these bedrooms. No one's fucking at all. No one. No one's fucking at all anymore. How the fuck does that happen? Well, did Mark and Lindsay, did they have some intimacy at the beginning when they first got there? They were fucking. Yeah. Well, well now. Well, in Vermont? No, I'm talking about in Vermont. I, when they first got there, they were there was a closeness. They were there. But it was like, I think the next day or the day after where they just went left. That bitch is fucking crazy. She's fucking Listen, nuts. Listen, let's just transition into that. Go ahead. She's bitch. just nuts. She needs friggin', she needs help. So much therapy. She, listen, she don't even need therapy. She needs a good 30 day stint in a psych ward for real though, with some medication and some hardcore therapy. Not that shit that you just go, we go see our regular therapist, sit down, hash it out for 30 minutes and keep it moving. She needs inpatient help. And she's really mean. She's a oh. mean person. When she said with Stephen Noy and her little in her little so- solo thing, when she's like, oh, she wants to be a stay at home and he's got no job, that's going to work. I was like, that. clean up your own that. house. Clean up your own house before you start talking about other people's houses. Bang. Clean up your own fucking house. Tink. She's yes. the classic, classic person that likes to dish it. I, we all know a person like this. I can't take Hell, it. I got people in my family like that that are like, you can, they will dish it out, dig, 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 disrespect, disrespect, throw your shit all in the street. And then the one time you, you fucking, you, you treat them like they treat you they fucking have a meltdown that shit when she had to go to the urgent care the next day that was a mental thing for her on top of the fact that she's also a fucking chronic alcoholic and she was probably dehydrated from all the fucking champagne she drank and wine she drank the entire weekend i'm gonna be me i'm happy with my when they were sitting at the circle remember when they were sitting at the circle and exactly (laughs) and they were like you did playing that game. We already knew that was a, a disaster waiting to happen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that was a setup like, by the production. That was a setup by the production. Of and they were like, Lindsay, Lindsay, Lindsay. But she had no problem with calling other people out. And when, oh, when she said about Mark. Oh, um, my God. The sex thing. What was it that happened? And she's like, oh, because he, wait, what does he take? He's too fast. I tell him that he's good in bed or something. Not, like yeah, that. basically, he's not good in bed. He's he's good selfish. In bed. He's selfish. Yeah. But she made a comment. In, in, in the circle, in front of that. Right. With like a couple of dings to him in the circle. And everybody is like, like the fact that she can't pick up on that is well, just to me like the bitch is She out picks there. up on it, but she don't give a shit. That's that difference. is true. She, You're right. She, I mean, she's not dumb, but she's just fucking mean and selfish. That's I think the whole that thing. constantly oh. putting him down Always. about like, like she's fucking Captain Save a motherfucker. Like he's good. Like he's got, we all got issues. You know what I mean? We got, we, you know, we're of that age now where we got elderly parents. We got to deal with that shit. You know, other shit in our lives that we got to deal with. And she's making, we've lost jobs. We've gotten jobs. We've been broke. We've been good. It is what it is. That's just the circle of life. She is always wants an instant to cut his ass down. And even if he was a piece of shit, you still don't do that to your husband. You don't put his business in them streets around a group of, fr- of friends talking about, you know, I have to take care of him. I have, as soon as I got married to him, I've had to deal with, I had to jump in and take care of the apartment mess, his familial mess, all this other mess. He lost his job. And I'm just like, shut up. No. You think she loves him? No. No. You're too broken to love him. Yes. She's too broken. In her head, though, do you think she loves him? I think she thinks she does. I think she thinks. I think like she thinks she does because she wants to be loved and she yeah. wants a relationship. But you, oh when God. she talked about like, okay, that argument that they had in the morning. Let me let's start there. She woke up. I I think I said this to you guys. I wake up on ten every fucking morning. I'm like, what's up? Good morning. I am that person. N- nobody in my family's like that. I'm not <laughs> like that. 
No one in my family is like that. Mm -hmm. I leave them the fuck alone. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't mess with people when they're trying to sleep. I don't wait. I get up. I go have my coffee. I go for a walk at sometimes at six o'clock in the morning by myself to get some of my energy out. But what I do not do is mess with people who are not morning people. It's called okay. respect. It's called personal space. And I don't understand why you can't get that. And so her whole, her big thing was Mark wants to sleep late. He wants to take a nap in the afternoon and he wants to go to bed early. I'm a high energy person. So I need whatever. Go do what you need to do to get right. rid of your energy. Lindsay, you're a grown ass woman. Go play racquetball in the morning. Go to the gym. Go do something. You don't need to mess with him. And who the fuck is wrestling first thing in the morning? When he was saying that shit, I'm like, see, that would, be, to me, that's ground. It was so yeah. annoying. We're done. I'm divorcing you immediately. And don't have me wake touch. up. And yeah, she always like, I don't like that. I, when I'm talking to you, says, I, don't I don't need all he that. He says, don't do that to me anymore. And she gets mad. And then she gets mad. I'm and done. That's where, okay, so that, I'm that's done. where that argument started. And then all he said was, oh. you are hyper. Mm -hmm. And she, it's the God-given truth. You are hyper. I can be hyper. So mm -hmm. somebody says, oh, I'm being too hyper. I just, oh, okay, you know, take it. I, I get it. I am. All she had to do was take it, but she took it internally. She turned mm -hmm. it into something else. She was like, you know, damn near tears. Mm -hmm. You created this issue. Mm -hmm. He's just telling you what he needs and you can't listen because it's like he said, it's all about Lindsay. It always comes back to her. It's all about her feelings, about how she's doing. The whole day is based on what her level of emotion is at that time. And yep. then from then on, it was just a complete left because she was just pissed off for the rest of the day. He and can't, he can't right. win. He talks down to him. In, if she said to him, you're bad in bed. And he's like, oh, that's, I'm taking that personally. With a, or his feelings were hurt. She's like, well, you are. You know, he's like, well, I didn't like it. Well, you are. <laughs> he, he, he can't do that. Mm -hmm. He can't. Oh, hyper? No. You're hyper? And she... He's like, I'm joking. He lost her shit over what's that. What's interesting about Mark's reaction, sorry, Mark's reaction to it, Mark, his reaction to it was like, really? Yeah. Really? Like, like really? Again? Yeah. And he doubled down on it. He's like, that wasn't like, okay, well, all right, fine. I, I can't deal with you. Okay, then don't. Are you going, I to, apologize you're going to production you now? Yeah. You're going to production? You're yeah. having production? He's like, yeah. Yeah. What? And that was a different argument. I mean, I didn't even know where that one came from because that they was were the all scene. Remember the kerosene? kerosene? She got upset. First of all, the what's this oh. is when she this is when you clearly know this bitch is out there. She is there, she needs professional help for real, though. When Mark was talking to Michael and he's like telling him the story michael's like what the fuck like dude we went from zero to 360 in like less than 10 seconds and he's like i went outside to start a fire she wanted to go sit by the fire bonfire whatever the fuck that was and um he used to she brought kerosene now, why the fuck you bring kerosene if it ain't to be used he used the kerosene to light the fire on the logs so and used, she got mad he used her kerosene her kerosene but she didn't he, i think he had his own uh, something ridiculous to the point of like Jesus. if you're getting mad that's what michael was like it's more than kerosene yeah it's mm -hmm. not about the kerosene bro it's mm -hmm. just, that's just her and then you saw her ass walking down the stairs because she was about to escalate it and mm -hmm. show her natural ass and olajuwon i uh, will give olajuwon props for that he snatched her up and was like come on go go upstairs mm -hmm. this ain't worth mm -hmm. it just go upstairs and he actually talked some sense into her because she listened and yeah. she went and she lay down, but I still didn't even understand how she went from from zero to where she ended up at. I mean, over over something he used, so she was probably still mad from what happened earlier in the day, and then the, um, the fight and everything. But there's nothing he can do. There's nothing he can do to he can't joke with her. Mm -hmm. He can't say anything. He, there ain't nothing he can do. So now he's kind of like, okay, well, here she goes. Here she grabbing that crocodile by the tail. Always, I call it. Here she goes again. And everybody hates her. Oh, no man. one likes her. For real, though. No one likes no, her. No, That's not even. Right. Yeah, they no don't. No one likes her. I mean, just, I mean, and I'm sure it was probably production and edited. 
But even when they were doing that game in the living room and like every time she opened her mouth and it was cut into all the couples and it's like dead silence and they're all like, what the fuck? Like looking at her and looking at Mark and looking at each other. And it's just like, what the fuck's going on here with this? I, she's, I, she's so rude. But remember she said yeah. something very telling too, is like, you know, when she was saying that she doesn't care about what people think about her. That's she why does. she shot out her mother and, you know, other people. So I do not like Lindsay, but I would really love to know what it was that hurt her so deeply because she has like walls all over the place. I mean, she's like, she's she so walls, broken. She got walls and dicks all over the place. Mm. And he joked about it too. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, my, my boyfriend lives off that exit. And, she, and he's like, mm -hmm. you got a lot of, uh, your boyfriend's off of every, every exit. And I was like, oh, yeah. That was and cool. I think that is, I mean, I think that's what indicative that? too of a person that's hurt because she probably did have a lot of sex with a lot of different guys and a lot of different one night stands because she could never maintain a relationship. So, but she still wants that closeness. She still wants that to, to feel she's like. Probably, yep. She's probably been with, have been in relationships or situationships with a lot of men and. They can't deal with her. Ass, she can't keep them or she can't get a man to commit to her. And men have basically probably just hung out with her, used her up, and been like ghosted her or no, tossed or, her to the or side or what like, have you. This bitch is crazy. Basically. The sex is great, but this bitch is crazy. Yes. I think yeah. that's what it comes down to, that she's absolutely crazy. And if Mark was to stay with her, he'd, he'd have he's nobody crazy. else in his life because she would run everybody away. Yep. Yep. And I think that's what she wants. I mean, she's just... She just how could the professionals not see how broken this woman was? Well, they do, but the only, I think they recognize that. But and Mark is the only type of person that could handle her. Someone who who takes care of he everybody. Can't her. Huh? He can't handle her. No, no, I'm saying but Mark is the only if there's anybody that could could be that for her. Mm -hmm. Mark is a personality who takes care of everybody despite of, despite himself. Agreed. He's the only type of person that can take care of her. But even then, that's like, you know. I think any other dude would have been long gone. They would have did a Chris oh. Colette and been like, today's my decision day. I am not living with this crazy bitch. Mm -hmm. No, I'm out. She has shown her ass. And Too I tell you, times. again, Mark Too is, every, and everybody said it even on the show. They're like, he is petrified of her. <laughs> again, he is just wait. He just needs to get through these two weeks and so that he could sit across from these experts and say, are you gonna stay together? Are you gonna? He's gonna be like, I'm divorcing this bitch. Could you imagine if she, when she got sick, he wasn't there, or <laughs> you know, he didn't take care of her, or whatever? But he was there. Yeah. And 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 not only what's interesting about it is he took care of her despite her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Despite her. Mm -hmm. And not to be like, okay, well, you know, he's still taking care of her despite how she is, and she would never do that for him. Nope. And she says every single week, I'm done. Yeah. I'm done with you. Or every I single week. I watched, all right, I'm going to push it to the after party real quick because I only watched okay. the first scene of the after party and they had this comedian on there and Mark was on there as well. It was Mark, Jasmina, and they had this female comedian. I forgot her name. Um, but she made a valid point with because Mark was trying to justify, not really justify, but he was talking to how Lindsay was acting. Mm -hmm. And the comedian lady said, Lindsay is the type of person, because he was like, Mark was trying to say to um, to Rudy Huxtable and them that, you know, she's just a nurturer. Like, that's how, that's her disposition. Like, she wants to take care of everybody, and she wants to be there for everybody. And this comedian literally hit it out the park and said, Lindsay is the type of person that will give you the shirt off her back. But that bitch will remind you that she gave you the shirt off her back every 15 minutes. And I was like, and, and that she's cold. Mm -hmm. Thanks to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have a shirt. Cause I don't have a shirt on. Cause I gave it to you. Mm -hmm. She'll never let so, it die. I mean, that is so damn true. That is so I mean, damn what's true. Wrong with Lindsay. That was all in her head when she, cause she was so upset. She worked herself up. 
you know, she was drinking on top of that. And then she went to bed and woke up and was all crying and show oh, no that night in bed with Mark all crying, hissy fit and whatever. And then the next morning she's sick. She has to go throwing up out the car. You got to pull up. I mean, she's a classic hypochondriac. I ain't no doctor. I ain't trying to diagnose the bitch, but that's what I say. She all she needed was for him to be all acknowledge her, excuse me, for spitting and be all taking her because she knew that's what he was going to do. Mm-hmm. And he took her to the urgent care and sat with her while she laid in that that gurney for 45 minutes while she's getting an IV fluids and Please. sleeping and sleeping. Oh, but did you guys love his um what he what his um couples thing with the um, bowls when they oh were my god he was sound asleep. I, I would have done him. I would have been just to have some damn peace. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, but, he got his piece. I would have fell asleep. Right, right. I would have got. I would have gotten forty-five minutes of not hearing her fucking trap. <laughs> That's what I and I would have fell the fuck asleep. Because first of all, I don't know what those bulls are and all that shit. That chakra shit. That and I don't, he don't I know asleep, either. I fell asleep. He don't but know also, either. But also, she could have woken up and said, "Hey, babe, 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 you fell asleep." She's like, "You got a spider on you." That's a perfect example of what she would. He's like, oh, what? oh, oh, wait. And then he was disoriented. But she could. Can we also touch upon that laugh of hers? I mean, I'm not oh saying I have the best laugh it's in the world. It's a cackle. But that no. laugh. <laughs> it's, it's much more horrible than that. I'm sorry. And when it she said, oh, horrible. only one's going to one's gonna survive. Like, one's not coming back. Mm-hmm. Everyone's like, because they know that bitch is crazy. For sure. She crazy. I mean, she is literally certifiable. Like she needs to be in a hospital, inpatient care for at least thirty days. She needs therapy. That's all. Or electric needs. shock treatment. Do they still do that? I don't think they still do that anymore. It's inhumane. But she needs an adjustment in yeah, her head. It's, it, this is unbelievable how bad this season is. It is oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's, not, it's not even. I'm not rooting for anybody. Unbelievable. I'm rooting for individuals. Instead I'm rooting of couples. for Steve. I want for Steve, I'm rooting for Steve and as Steve. An, but I'm not rooting for couples. Mm-mm. Yeah. Noi doesn't, deserve, no, he doesn't no. deserve Steve. Nope. Uh, Mark doesn't deserve Lindsay. No. Katina doesn't deserve Elajuan. No, Elajuan doesn't deserve Katina. Right. I, 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 yeah. And then, um, what's the last one? And Michael don't deserve. No, Jasmina don't deserve I Michael. I mean, Jasmina, that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. It, no, it, it, I it, that, yeah, this is this is really bad. This is Lindsay, Lindsay. You what? know what I Stop mean. touching me. <laughs> Stop touching me. I'm done. Done. Every <laughs> single that's what I'm saying. Even if we if we all miss the next episode, we can decipher what happens. One by reading Twitter. Basically. Yeah. Basically reading Twitter and then figuring it out because I don't see anything else changing with these people. I, I, I again, and even even the you know the people I know that I work with and stuff that watch it, all they do is they say I fast forward through this couple, I fast forward through that couple. So you're not you, you, you're not paying any attention. Nobody's into this season. It is absolutely horrible. Lifetime, do something. Because yeah, what you're doing yeah. right now is a total fail. And I, I, I have no interest in, in San Antonio. If those previews look like anything like we've seen, fuck this season. <laughs> Did they show, show previews of San Antonio? Oh, wait. Is it no, not, not yet. Not yet. Not is yet. I'm saying when they start showing the previews. Huh? It, is it San Antonio or San Diego? I think I the next one is either. I think the next one's in San Diego. I think. I'm not sure. Okay. Look here. Right. I, listen, I, after Boston... And I'm, I'm again, I'm embarrassed that, you know, that's our city and I'm embarrassed that these people, but I'm glad that, you know, a lot of them aren't really true Bostonians. So. I wonder why they don't do The worst one is, the worst one is Bostonian. Is true. The psycho. Yeah. <laughs> he is. I wonder why, I wonder why they don't do an older, an older couple, thirties and forties. They do. It's called, um, it's called, um, on, on own. Ready oh. to love, ready to love. But I don't. But it's, they I don't like know. ready to love because dating. they're older. But I don't like the setup. I don't yeah. like that um, they're all competing for the, you know, for the attention of one person. How is that really um, a, 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 a 
dating relationship. It's more, I would feel better if they were paired and then they yeah. work towards a relationship instead of five women competing for like maybe three or four guys or vice Agreed. versa. You know, I would love to see uh, uh, an older, a older, mature. But then again, what's that say? I mean, I would love to see it, but then I would be crushed if you had four, like 30, mid 30s to late 40s or even some 50 year olds in there doing the married at first sight and then they're just as bad well look at right re um ready to love they're messy as hell as fuck yes so they they're, they're picking when i watch who... ready to love i say to myself on a on a constant when i watch it that's why you're single oh i did you hear that they're doing a um a, a seven a, a senior citizen 70s called ready to die <laughs> i can't what do they do? Do they go pick their funeral homes and plan their funerals? Yeah. Right. Okay, okay. Is it so, ready to pee? Huh? <laughs> ready to pee? In every relationship, they go, well, I gotta go. I gotta go pee. <laughs> Look, we all know how that works. You just show them napping all day. Yep, chilling yeah, out so, and napping. Yeah, I think yeah. we're done. I think we're all done, not just We us. got two Everyone's weeks done. left. We got two weeks to suffer through this. Two weeks, probably 18 episodes yeah. left. So yeah. are they, how many? Probably they're gonna try to squeeze. I thought we have two episodes. Oh no, no. there's two weeks left. But they're gonna try to squeeze five episodes into And we've got reunions. Right. They and because I feel like the, the last episode it'd be like three hours or something stupid. You know, of and I'm not doing, doing it. To do. I'm not doing it. It's too no. much. That's why I DVR and I'm just going to fast. When they start going back to like, you know, let's let's show this clean this scene. I'm like no. I can't watch this fucker. Don't even care. The only good thing about this season is I like Keisha. Yes, I do That's like the Keisha. Only good thing. I like the after show and I like Keisha. Mm -hmm. She's keeping it real. She's keeping it, you know. And she's calling people out. Yes. She has no The only reason I haven't watched it as much is because I'm just, I'm dead tired. tired. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I have to either watch it the next day or I, I listen Thanks to what it. you guys say. Yeah. But it's the only bright spot of the okay. whole damn show. Yes, it is. Well, All right. on that note. Well, quick question before I let you guys go and get your, your night. Did anybody watch Ultimatum? We have not watched it. You haven't yet. watched it. You're gonna not watch yet. it tonight. You're gonna watch it late tonight. Uh if we have time, we have to we'd have to watch it right now. Yeah, we got a dog to roll. Watch. Come here, okay. Prince. Come here. Well, you got I will say people. one thing. Come here, Prince. Oh, you said it didn't live up to the hype? It did not. Yeah, we saw that. We I saw that. Hi everybody. Happen. This is Prince the Wonder Dog. Say hi. Look at Hi, hi, yay! Hi, Princey Poopy. So she was goodness. All right. All right. Well, we'll see you next week. And uh, uh, I guess I'll be back in Boston unless uh, I hit the Super Lotto or the Powerball this weekend. <laughs> but anyway, it's been real, y'all. Do, 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 Have do, a good one. Do, 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 do.